Hello everybody, Darren here, and welcome back to episode 81 of my Anno 1800 Let's Play. Now, in the last episode, I worked on raising the global population to 100,000 by building several new investor residences back in the old world. All the while, in the new world, I tore down the Hacienda residences and instead just focused it on industry. Now, between episodes, I've actually worked a bit on improving the trade routes, so now the goal is really just to stabilize the fluctuating population and just make sure everyone has what they need. Now, eagle-eyed viewers out there might notice there's been a few changes even just to the island here of Marbella from the previous episode but I've got a lovely time-lapse to show you how it all happened. Alright, so one of the first things that I wanted to get to work on was actually improving the farms that we had built at the end of the last episode. We had just put down a bunch of new coffee plantations and I wanted to give them the silos, right? We put the silos there but I wasn't able to actually supply them with fertilizer, so I wanted to work on that first. Now, in the background right here, I'm just cleaning up some farms along the coastline that have been bothering me for the last, like, I don't know, 50 episodes, because they just they just looked weird, and I'm trying to just create a more harsh line and distinct line between the two, because they were kind of enveloping each other. So while that's going on in the background, I'll talk to you about what I've been doing with the fertilizer kind of thing, because I think it's actually kind of interesting. So the island of Guadalmina is a smaller island with a very limited population on it, and that's where I'm actually getting the fertilizer. I have a hacienda with a fertilizer building, and that building then, when it's placed next to animal farms, turns dung into fertilizer. But you don't actually collect dung as a regular resource, right? You only collect it when you have the fertilizer building. It's kind of weird. It's not a product that you just make on its own. It only gets made in a fertilizer building and then it just turns into fertilizer. So it's really kind of weird in that way. But I, d I realized that the island is just full of it, right? It's, got f it's just got loads of dung basically just storing up. So I was like, oh, what I could do is just ship over the dung, the raw dung, bring it over here, and we've got loads of workforce here, and we could just make the fertilizer on this island. So it might be a nice little tip for you if you hadn't thought of that, or I'm guessing everyone else has thought of this. It's probably just me who's late to the party and realizing this. But yeah, if you're a little constrained for population, that seems to work just fine. So even though I've got no animal farms on this island, the fertilizer buildings will still take in the dung from a supply warehouse. They don't actually need to be next to an animal farm. I remember being confused for a second, looking at it, thinking, why is there even a radius around it? I was like, oh yeah, it needs, it needs an animal farm normally, but it works just fine with a supply warehouse. So that's what I've ended up doing here. So I've got four fertilizer factories bringing dung in from you know a, a trade route and then they're just taking it in and they're making the fertilizer here for the farms for the coffee plantations so that we can supply the roasters so that was a long-winded way of kind of explaining all that but now i'm getting to work on the actual hacienda so the first thing was to readdress the layout of the farms because I wanted to build the hacienda wall as a sort of enclosure around this entire area. Now this is sort of going to be this industrial area, right? It's the hacienda at the center, a bunch of different buildings and factories around it. It's more of an aesthetic choice. Haciendas don't actually need and improve or do anything to buildings like coffee roasters or the other various buildings I'm going to be putting in here. But just aesthetically, it's quite cool to have it all in on the same kind of area. It's like a little industrial estate, I guess, uh, with farms off to the side. I've seen some people make really beautiful haciendas already. People have been posting screenshots in my Discord and just happened to catch a few as well where you'll have these really intricate little farms in between little houses. I can totally see the aesthetic of blending the two together. I would love to do that, but unfortunately I need to kind of just get the goods up and running properly first and then in future... If the economy is stable and everything, then I'll be able to maybe mess around with just like having a more aesthetically pleasing one. But this is my version of doing an aesthetically pleasing one, uh, which is semi-efficient. So it's kind of like how I play in general. It's like I try to make things look good, but I don't completely sacrifice efficiency to do that, I guess. Uh, anyways, so as you can see here, I'm laying out the different pathways that come with the Hacienda. Something I didn't even know is that the paving pathway works as a road as well, which is really also odd. I guess that might be some part of the reason why they limited it. I still don't really think they should have, but either way they have. So you've got this pathway that, you know, you can see the various wagons going up and down, but you've got the also just the straight up brick bottom, and that also acts as a, uh, as a road. And you'll just see people just crossing vast distances to get to supply warehouses, like these big open areas, uh, after I put it down, because I was like, oh yeah, it acts as a road as well, it's quite, it's quite weird. 
um, that they've done that. I really just don't know why. It's it's the equivalent of the base white tile, you know, you have in the old world being a road. Like, that's what the equivalent of that is. Anyways, I'm going way off tangent, or topic here, on a tangent. I have my coffee roasters down in a nice line, a little wall all the way around them, placing various ornaments around that. I have my four fertilizer buildings at the back of the hacienda. I have a cigar building in there, some supply warehouses. I put all that paving down that I was talking about. You're limited to 250 of it. However, if you hold shift, I found that you can actually put down up to 350 and it works just fine. So I don't know, again, why that's there. For instance, when you're limited to use any other tile, you can't just press shift to use more except for farm modules. So I... I'm just endlessly confused about what's going on there, but they all work fine. And that's why you'll see when I talk about this paving, you'll just see people walking all the way across it because it's all road, every bit of it. Although it's nice enough because they actually still follow the, uh, the kind of main road, as it were. Anyway, just to kind of clean things up and make it a bit more aesthetically pleasing, I decided to put some of those kind of palm trees in a sort of a line, like really packed together. And it almost makes it look like it's a, somewhat of an orchard or the equivalent of, uh, even though it's not. And just will kind of wall that off, give it a little gate, and that can look quite good. Around the supply warehouses, just adding extra crates, you know, extra little uh, canopies, the hay bales, whatever it might be. You think you can imagine they're just being left there, being waited to be used, waiting to be used. We've got two chewing gum factories, so two chemical plants in here as well. They don't quite work on the, because they have a dirt bottom to them, but it, it, it's fine. From a distance, it looks pretty good, I think. Uh, a lot of supply warehouses as well, and I think I, I mentioned later, but I'll mention it again anyway because uh, it's on, on, on my mind, that when the future DLC comes out, you know, this this area might change, and uh, we'll see if we can put other things in here. But for now, I think it's a nice kind of industrial sort of factory area. So it makes a lot of sense to have a, all these different types of factories in here together. I think it works, you know, I just think it looks good. Um, so I've got multiple supply warehouses. They just kept getting overloaded, and I, d I don't know why, if it was just because I just put them down. But I guess the coffee is coming out at a pretty fast pace, and we have then the chewing gum, the fertilizer... And uh, I end up putting in wood veneers here as well. So I actually temporarily put in these... Oh, I went for a little walk. Always walk around your area to see that it makes sense, of course. Um, but I put in those, like, smaller warehouses that come with the hacienda to increase storage. I just thought they looked good, but I realized, like, actually, I've got those wood veneer buildings I left off to the side in the previous episode. I'll move them in here. They fit in here actually quite nicely. They have their own little walled-off area, so they, they work very well against the paving. And then I was just trying to, you know, move things around, lay it out better so that we have these little back alleys that lead to the other buildings. And like I said, it all acts as road, basically. So they come in and they get to the supply warehouse that way sometimes. So very weird and very interesting. Uh, I've got the nice trade union there with a lovely big fountain at the front of it. It looks really, really nice. Lots of space in there to be used in future as well. So I'm sure we'll cram more stuff in there when uh, we see what the future DLCs hold for us. And I think that's basically kind of it. I was kind of dabbling around with sticking a warehouse on the outside, but I ultimately go for just the idea of moving it, <laughs> moving it completely. The docks here, the, the um, fish oil to the other side of the island. So that's going to be the industry side, the other side. I want this to be a bit more of the residential side. So out on this side is where the actual oil comes in. That's kind of the industrial side. Can have a lot of depots out there, maybe even a couple of piers. Um... And then the rest will just be mostly, hopefully, residential looking. And obviously, I, I guess I'll keep piers on this side as well, just because this is the quickest route for ships to come around. Uh, although, I guess it only shaves off a few seconds. Anyway, rambling a little bit, but that's that's basically going to be the layout for now. I'm really in, uh, interested and excited to see what people think. Unfortunately, in the episode, I forgot to actually zoom in, really, and look around it. I look at it right here at the beginning, but... Um, I forgot to actually go for a little walk around it. Also, really nice note is that they've added the tree painter for the various orchards. So you can actually paint the orchard trees in different places to kind of make it more uniform, which is quite cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. The new and improved Hacienda 2.0. Getting rid of all the residences, industry focused purely, and then the grounds have sort of extended their reach over other industries such as the coffee, the chewing gum, the wood veneers, cigars. Frankly, a bunch of stuff that has nothing to do with the actual Hacienda mechanics, but I think it looks quite cool, sort of encapsulating the entire area as this sort of modern new world industrial area sort of a factory site. I think it looks quite cool. Obviously, when future DLCs come out, this season of content is all focused around the new world. Workforce. Maybe we'll pull some of these buildings out of there, put other things in there that make a bit more sense, perhaps, if it ties together with the Hacienda in some sort of way. We'll have to see. Uh, either way, I think it looks quite cool. I'm really happy with how it's sort of come together, but a lot of work still to be done on this island. I cleaned up a little bit to do with the farms, cleaned up a little bit to do with the coast, but 
broadly speaking, there's still a lot to be done in terms of making the industrial or the residential area look quite nice. Now, in between episodes, I've been a busy boy. I fixed up a bunch of trade routes. Things are running pretty smooth, although we're dipping. We're kind of... I'm waving my hand as if you can see it, doing kind of a wave motion up and down and up and down as the uh, population kind of rises above 100,000 then falls back down and it's sort of fluctuating like that. And we want to sort of stabilize that. So at the moment, whenever we hover over this, we can see what numbers are changing. The engineers and the investors are moving up right now, actually. So it speaks to reason that they're missing something and they're after getting something. That's why they're growing. And then when they lose it, they lose it and they fall back down. So... I'm going to be trying to keep an eye on that and seeing what's actually going on. So if we hop back to the old world, we can have a look at our beautiful island here. So I actually replaced all of the engineer households. They're all back where they should be. We still have this pretty big gap here, which we could fill with different things. I'm more leaning to the idea of keeping at 100,000 and using this space for um, sort of like something ornamental, you know, something that would look nice, something that's for people to interact with, but not necessarily a building or anything like that. And that way, with the future DLCs, if anything needs to be built on this island, there's still a little bit of room at the back here, there's a little bit of room here, um, but there's still a bit of cleaning up to do. I have to kind of clean up the actual, there's a museum and a zoo out here, just helping the attractiveness stay above 11,000. That gives us extra reach for buildings like this due to the palace, so we're able to reach all the way down here. So. It's, it's all delicately balanced right now so that we, we keep 11,000 attractiveness, but we also want to fill as much as possible with people, houses, and then things that look nice. Um, but all these new houses are doing pretty good. We have 96 influence. I've queued up building a bunch of ships in the last episode, and some of them are still, uh, still being made at the moment. Trade routes are working a lot better, and some of the trade I can actually completely cut out. You may remember a couple of episodes ago. I built things such as, you know, routes from Mbesa that were carrying spices and things like that. So a few of those routes can kind of fall by the wayside now and get those ships back soon enough. The goal, obviously, as well, is to have 5,000 tourists in the uh, Iron Schlong. We want to have 4,005 in the Skyline Tower, the Schlong Tower. <laughs> You know, we want to max out every building is basically what I'm getting to. I, I, I hit my goal, I can't remember exactly what it was for this, but we hit the goal of, of reaching all the prestige levels of the palace. We've got every item in the botanical garden, every item on the zoos and museums. Um, I've moved all of the deposits into a nice compact area. We've got more than enough tourists for the Iron Schlong. We're able to easily obviously do the... Um, the World's Fair, and then the Research Institute, we have 10,000 engineers able to work on any project. So I'm really happy, like, you know, this island is basically done <laughs> in, in many ways in terms of statistics. Like, in statistically, population-wise, what we've, you know, all the bars have reached the maximum numbers, essentially, is what I'm saying. Uh, same, with, the same goes for the, um, the Docklands and things like that. We have every single uh, contract available down there, as many loading wharfs as possible, all of that kind of stuff. So... I'm really happy with that. You know, looking back over this save, 81 episodes in, I dared to 250 hours in. Holy crap. It's uh, it's pretty cool just seeing that we've actually ticked all the boxes in so many ways. But there's always more to be done. I'm not going to arbitrarily push the population for no reason. I like 100,000 is a good number. I think it's even more than I ever intended on hitting. And uh, we, I just want to stabilize that now. Keep that number clean and then make the place look as good as possible uh, through ornaments and things like that. So, let's have a look. So we were missing something here. I, I probably dilly-dallied a bit too long. Now I don't even know what we're missing. Um, I'm seeing artisans even fluctuate a bit. Yeah, what, did you, what were you just missing, sir? I don't know if there's a way to check on this, but I had a quick look through the statistics in between the episodes. Uh, obviously, not everything. So if you're somehow forgetting or if you're new... And you don't know about the screen, obviously the green bar has got to be bigger than the blue bar, right? Production, you want it to outweigh consumption. Doesn't always have to though, just because of Docklands, we can pull things in through contracts and that way we're getting stuff. Oh yeah, totally forgot that. I'm going to write this down really quickly because I totally forgot that. There's a weird thing going on. I won't, I, I guess I will explain it. On, a, on stream, when Seeds of Change came out, for the first time like ever, after making no changes whatsoever, Husky Sleds just stopped being made and it turns out they're out of wood so I don't know if they just had wood for like literally 50 60 hours for some reason and it was always fine 
because I didn't change any trade routes and then suddenly they ran out. It was just very weird. Anyway, I, I don't know the reason that they started running out of wood, but they don't have wood. So I'm going to actually work on getting that up to them as well. And that'll get husky sleds. So I'm just going to write down that so I don't forget it. We'll do that this episode. It should be easy enough. Got plenty of trade routes. So I actually did, speaking of wood, set up a new trade route, carrying wood to the old, uh, the new world, a wood import. Um, so just the regular timber, I guess, regular wood, right? So we pull it in through Docklands. We have loads that arrive in this island in particular. And then this ship takes it to the New World. And that's basically it. I don't know if one ship is enough, but... Uh, it'd be nice if they could then also bring it to the Arctic. And deliver it just up here to... Um, Someone once told me they didn't like my work. I <laughs> threw myself in a nettle patch. Oh, God. Uh, anyway, uh, to King William Island. So, yeah, so if we could just make some sort of delivery of wood up there. Now, there's there's a ship that goes up there. Maybe I could just combine it with that. Um, oops. It's an airship, right? Airships come and go from the Arctic. The Arctic Exchange. And, uh... Hmm. Yeah, there's only four slots on these. There's not much we can do. Maybe when the new airship stuff comes out, maybe we'll be able to do something then. But it would be nice if we could just deliver wood up here with one of these. So basically, we arrive in Lusk, we pick up coffee, canned goods, schnapps, and brass. And we deliver that up to King William Island. And that's basically it. Then we just go and get stuff and bring it back. Now, I don't think we ever actually even fill up on gas to bring it back. So maybe you can make two journeys. I reckon so. It's a bit messy, but I reckon so. Um... So we go to Hopefell, we get gas, we get that. We go to Steindelsbreen and we get that. And then you go to King William Island and we deliver it back to Lusk. So things we throw overboard, if we can't drop off the gas or any of these goods, we throw them over, that's fine. Yeah, so a um, bit weird, but I'll try this. Let's just add the add Lusk onto this route one more time. We'll move it up the chain. This significantly delays the route, but I don't know. I've got a feeling this might be okay. An explosion in one of your factories. How much wood would they consume in that time? I have no idea. But I would say 100 is enough. And there's two ships doing this. Actually, 50 might be fine then. So I'm just going to say 100. And then say, yep, drop it off. Throw it over. Ah, you don't want to do that. You want to drop it off at King William Landing. Sorry for staring at the screen for so long. It's such a messy route. But this one has to be messy. Airships are kind of a, a bit more of a rare commodity. Um, I do have one free airship that's, that doesn't do anything that I guess could be used. And to be honest, a ship could actually just bring this up here thinking about it. Hang on, I'm just not going to mess with this route. I'm sorry for messing about with that. I'll just make a new route. We'll deliver wood. We'll make it a separate thing. Make it do its own thing and that'll be fine. We have the influence to do it. Until I need to combine up routes, I don't think I should be doing that now. So we'll just grab Old World... Grab wood. Boom. All right, wood. There it is. And that's it. Any ship can do this. Whatever. So this is going to be a wood... What can we call this? Arctic to the old world. So wood import, because it's taking in. Actually, import dash wood. All righty. Sorry for taking so long with that. I, I don't know. I'm a little cautious with these trade routes sometimes because I always try to double them up because influence is always hurting me. But I've got plenty of ships. We have plenty of influence. We could get like literally 60 more ships. Now, we can finally see some numbers falling, which is actually good. I want to catch something I'm missing, no? Engineers are apparently falling down, but I don't see why. Oh, I know why, because this is falling down. All right. So anyway, we'll just lower this back down. This keeps happening, and I'm actually not sure why. When these tourists, let's just put it back on daytime. There's an interesting thing happening here, right? When these tourists reach up to 600 or so, it unlocks the Eiffel Tower, the Iron Schlong, and then that reaches its maximum. Oh, so they're out of rum, actually. Okay, so that just figures that out. Now, rum, that makes sense why they'd be out of rum. We, um... We cut the rum supply from the New World, so we'll have to figure out the trade route there, because rum is now redirected to come from Cape Trelawney. So let's just go rum. There's a specialty multi-region multi ship that picks it up from Crown Farms and drops it at Lusk. That must have just done it, actually. Now, I thought there'd be another ship that takes it from Lusk up to here. 
Lusk is told to pick it up. It's dropping it at Rush first, picking up whatever it can, and then dropping it back. There's a problem, though. What's the problem? Can't be loaded as the storage is empty. Well, that's not true. I can see that there's 500 there. Where are these ships? And then they're going to unload it at Swords. So basically, the route is just saying, yeah, we're just picking up some... So I don't know. Let's just add even more to this route and say, yep. Again, another one of these really messy, unnecessarily messy routes, I guess. To be honest, there's two ships. I guess you could just make this both one. So let's try that. Okay, let's just try that. Create a new route, trade route. From here to here and there. This one's just going to be rum and it's just going to stay in the old world. So Lusk, pick up all the rum you can. So I want to drop it at Rush first. I'm happy with that. And then it's going to pick up whatever it can that it's allowed to and then drop the rest of that swords. Maybe the other way around is probably better considering uh, considering this is the bigger place. So let's try it that way. So this is just going to be... I'll just call it Rump. Uh, supply. Rum Supply. Okay. We're going to do another one like that that's very much the same, but with canned goods. Dorothy, there, there, and there. Got him. Just so buried in, uh... No canned goods in trade routes today. Boop. Workforce shortage. Alright, that's fine. And this is going to be canned goods supply. Alrighty, so let me just check that rum supply. I messed it up, so that needs to do that, and that does not. There we go. And then we just need to set limits, and that should work. Um, we should have enough rum globally to be doing this. 120. We are exchanging some at the uh, Docklands on Cape Trelawney, so I need to check on that. And we, we kind of anticipated that that might happen, so we'll give it a quick gander. Alright, we set a minimum there. We should set a minimum for canned goods as well. They've got plenty now, but we'll just set it to 500. Alright, so those ships are going to do that thing. I need to just cancel the one that was already set up, right? This mess of a route. So these two, both of you just get off that, get off that, accept that, and delete that route. That's gone now. So we basically divided the route up into two separate ones, so it's just less complicated and they're carrying more each time, so it's better. Uh, I'm just going to quickly drop off both of these guys here. So while that's happening, let's check over at Crown Farms. I just want to quickly check how the trades have been going, because we're trading rum here a lot. They're maxed out. That's how much is here. So this needs to be taken out of here and used somewhere. Now we have the Great Eastern sitting here empty. Might be perfect to add this onto this route, considering how big it is. These two, this ship is coming in now, trying to pick some up. That one has some already. So let's add the Great Eastern. Why the hell not? Big old fat ship. The Viper. And it's going to pick up as much rum as pos. Now it's just saying that not all ships can do that, but that's okay. It's just rum all over. And it's saying wait to unload and wait for goods. Yeah, that's fine. I'm happy with that. So there we go. This ship should pick up quite a lot. And that's basically what we're going to be doing for the next while, to be honest, guys. It's uh, little bits of time lapses and then not just figuring out why the, po you know, what's happening in the population. Why is it, why does it fluctuate? Can we have, you know, can we stop that? And things like that. Anything that gives it loading speed 60%. Get in there. Alrighty. All right, 400 rum on the way. That'll let all these buildings keep doing their thing now. Coal and potatoes, something this island has more than it'll ever need. Pearls and jewelry is a concern. I got to figure that one out soon. All right, well, anyway, let's see if that kind of adding another ship to the network, seeing as we do have enough, and seeing as the Docklands even look, literally hits its maximum, I think it should be okay. But um, hard to tell, but I think so.
So we'll just drop off this rum manually here now. And that should keep things going. Right, we'll add these ships back down to the bay here so they can be used later. Okay. Anyway, um, even when rum doesn't run out, it should be fine now. I see this population fluctuate quite a bit. I noticed that they're looking for a, a, a restaurant here, and they don't have full supply to it, like this, these buildings here, right? So they, they could have a slight few more residences if we brought over a restaurant. That's one there, for instance. You can have another one in this area. It would feed the um, artisans. So there's, not, there's actually kind of a reason to do it. Could have it in the front of the zoo, perhaps. Could have it somewhere even just like there, and kind of carve out a nice little area for it. Perhaps. Um, we can't really remove the town hall. Don't want to slam it in between the buildings. That would look weird. Uh, we've got one, you know, we've got a bar and another thing there. I suppose, no, yeah, we kind of need them where they are. So, yep, I guess I'll just pop it down here and then maybe in future we can just make it look a bit nicer. We should have the workers to work it. It's whether or not we have the goods to supply whatever it is. Uh, so they need pigs, potatoes, and tallow, and that would just be the Archduke's schnitzel. And that's bread, fish, and chocolate reduction. Hmm. What else could we give them? Coffee canned goods and bread. That one's kind of nice. Citrus can be a little hard to come by, though, but let's try it. I'll keep an eye on... The citrus demand. 38 to 38. Oof. Little cutting in a little fine, maybe. Maybe let's just switch that to something else for a bit. The rum negative 20%. Just considering we got rid of some rum recently, maybe that's not such a bad idea. Again, citrus though. We got plenty of lobster, plenty of tobacco. Let's try it that way then. Okay, we'll try to make it work. Okay, so there you go. They should get that little bit of extra from the restaurant, you would think. Yet it just completely went down to zero. I don't know why. Oh, because it hasn't been, uh, its demand hasn't been met yet. So basically what they've just changed, they've changed from going to that one to going to this one. But because it's empty, it's useless to them. So that's fair enough. Once it gets its thing out of this warehouse in a moment, that should come back up. So we'll just speed up time. Let them do that. And then let's bring this all the way back up. Now, how many people work in these things? 120. We should have that. That should be fine. It's so funny. If I go above that limit and this falls into the negative, it'll tumble, tumble, tumble down. But as long as I keep it positive, it stays up. I understand Anne Harlow's anger, but surely so I'm just waiting for this to grow all the way. 4,900, and there we go. So that's 5,000 now. Still have some excess customers. So if we just have a look now in here, we're at 660, finally full back, back full up. Are you kidding me? This is only 99% when it's right there. Okay. Oh my god, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Damn it. <laughs> I held shift. Just wanted to move it. Yeah, hopefully that's just a bit closer though for them. Anyway, we'll check back at it in a moment. So I'm gonna have to just reduce this down temporarily. Let's just leave it there. Okay. About to hit 100,000 again. What numbers are changing? Investors and engineers. Light bulbs. They must have just run out of that temporarily. That should be fine though. That's what the whole last episode was about. We made sure we had light bulbs. The light bulbs were over here. Ah, one of the buildings blew up. Well, that's not good. That's probably why they ran out. Uh, let's just check if there's any ruined buildings anywhere. Nope. Hotkeys tells me that there isn't. Alright, cool. Um, kind of just need to wait and see now. <laughs> what goes wrong? I uh, want to see if that problem in the Arctic gets fixed, so let's just head up there. That's one of our airships not doing anything. So this one's at negative 224, and that's just because 
they're out of sleds because they wear out of wood. The first wood delivery has just happened, though, so this should get fixed. I insist you don us harder. I insist you make some sleds. There we go. They're getting their sleds now, actually. Just now. So let's just speed that up. I want to see these guys working on stuff. There we go. Once this gets going... This is a, a really long-running problem that's been going on behind the scenes for many episodes, but they should, they should have it after this, and that should fix their issue. It's never really been a big problem, though. The place ticks over just fine, but I don't obviously don't like having an empty need like that. So it's going to take a while when they're, when they're under strength like this, but as soon as they start making their first batches of sleds, husky sleds, that is, they can start getting around a bit faster and all of that. There we go. And the numbers are tumbling back up. Yeah, investors and engineers are just changing all the time. So those are the two that we need to stabilize and just check on. But it's going to be a tough balance, balancing act to really do it. Because things can change so often. But yeah, so we fixed light bulbs. So I'm basically going to now be waiting to see, like... I know that in this st statistics screen that we have everything we need. It's just a question now of whether or not the trade routes are messed up in getting it here. I'm pretty sure that's the case. I'll just check on something like champagne. Just looking at that briefly, I just thought maybe actually I don't have enough champagne. Nope, that's okay too. Cigars doesn't have enough, but that comes in through Docklands. Chocolate is paused right now, production-wise. I'm guessing that's in the new world. We are out of room. You've got 1,150 chocolate just sitting there. Are you mad? Multi-regional specialty chocolate. Boom, boom, boom. Ships are on the way. So what do you do? You come to Marbella, you drop it off at Lusk, and then you go to Crown Farms? Why? <laughs> Someone else can do that, I think. They've got 3,000 chocolate. So let's take that off the route and say forget that. Um, we'll accept that. We'll make a new route that says, okay, deliver your chocolate to Crown Farms, eh? Get a new ship, one of our brand new ones. The old world will go from Lusk. Pick up the ch chocolat. Which is also full up, which is crazy. Um, and drop that out to... How is that happening? If the production wasn't even working, I don't know. Drop that off out there. All right, so that is going to be... Let's just check the name of the thing. So it goes from Old World. So Cape to Old World. So it's a chocolate import. All right, that's all you do. That is your job. <laughs> it would be nice to name some of these. Other brands are available. Um, all right. God, look how many islands Arthur has. And we still have this one that just has nothing on it. <laughs> just a complete nothing island. Talk about getting wood. Instead of bringing it in through Docklands, we could just spam wood out here and get it there, right? Five. Look at the amount of wood you could get here. <laughs> it's only five farmers. We've got 200. That's a lot of wood. Should we do that? Might as well make it happen while we're waiting on other things to have happen. Although, I, I mean, I imagine I'll use this island for something eventually, but it's been sat here for a very long time since we defeated Margaret, and we've never done anything with it, so. Yeah, I guess let's just get some going. Put down warehouses as well, obviously, but I think that'd be okay. Let's try that in the beginning here, and then we'll just add a, several warehouses. We need timber. Let's bring in some timber. Do we have any... Ah, oh, no. Let's get a ship that's not doing anything really quickly. <laughs> just grab some timber and come back. This one is making, bringing in gas. That can wait. Oh, I can't put a notice on this one, can I? 
Press control. Oh yeah, there we go, it still works. So the button is gone in the UI when it's on a trade route, but you can still hold control and click, and that way you get the uh, notification bell. So what's falling down now? Investors and engineers are falling. So let's just hop back, see, what's, see what they're missing. Again, light bulbs. So let's try... What's wrong? Yeah, the ships are bringing them up, so, you know, the, it's just going to take a little while, but the trade route's getting going again, so that's okay. My boats should be sinking under the weight of construction material. They talked about in the newest DLC that's on its way that you'll be able to somehow interrupt trade at on air, by air, in future. Don't know if that means weapons or, you know, or what. All right. Okay, so that should connect up, I don't even know how many, but a lot of little logging cabins. And we can kind of cut that out of Docklands if we want to now, I think. Seems like it's a lot. I'll have a look at the statistics here and see how much exactly we're going to be getting. And there's a lot more in the island that we can use. Uh, we just need to add in our actual warehouses, though. Let's try to do it where there's not much traffic. Can that reach all the way up there? No, of course not. Okay. All right, so they have all their things. Good. Uh, I'll just keep coming down with this one then. Always forget that you don't, you can just connect these like this. They don't have to feed like all the way back. Um, but this does. All right, good. Oh, it's so close to reaching. Guess we can go there. Alright, that's um, a bunch of wood. So, also then, I think we can build a depot. Build a couple of those. We can only do one, actually. We don't have much, uh, any, any bricks. This can go back on its route. Off you go. And how much wood we'll store here? We can only store up to 200 of something now. Oh my god. I guess I'll bring some bricks here. And uh, we can upgrade. We can build more of these. Yeah, so something like this ship. We'll just, again, speed time up. Grab some bricks. Bring it back down. Uh, turn that island into a wood hub. Check the uh, statistics screen as well. I guess we'll do this. Alright, so let's just check statistics screen then while we're waiting on raw materials. Wood is now at 56 tons per minute. So 56 tons per minute. Let me just work out work this out to compare it to the Docklands guy. He's about every 22 minutes or something. So 56 times 22 would be 1,232 every time he comes by. So if we check the Docklands um, over in Lusk, we can actually see then how much was he bringing in. Uh, 1,900, so even more, even more. But we, we're selling advanced weapons, which you just have so much of. And by the way, now it's filling up. It's like it, it caught on to me looking at it. So in the previous episode, I said, like, why isn't it full? If we're just making it passively, why isn't it full? We don't spend it on anything. And it's been hundreds of hours, you know, of just sitting there. But now it's full, so I don't know. I have no idea why that happened. I always try to drag this one out. I can't. 
All right, off you go, back on your route. So, now we've got loads more space to store. We can only store 500. We should be able to want to store up to 1,000, right? Don't know if we'll ever get that much, but 850. Have a ship come by here, here every now and then. As long as it's within every 20 minutes, it's probably as much as we need. Um, so yeah, the one that was doing it, we'll just go wood. We had two ships doing it, actually. The wood import there and the wood import there. I'll just call this import wood. So that means we need another ship, another route. Create a route, trade route from this island here, Hunt's End. Oh yeah, that's a good, did I call it that? That's a cool name. Um, no, because... <laughs> Alrighty. Maybe losing your island will polish Oh my god. <laughs> Arrival <laughs> might take over your island. Oh my god, he could have bought the whole island. That was close. Uh just gonna set a timer on that one so I can remember to take it back. This city is a magnet for genius. I didn't set the timer correctly, actually, sorry, bear with me. People got mad at me when I set a timer once before. They were like, hey, I try to sleep to these. <laughs> and you just set off an iPhone alarm in my ear. Apologies for that. Bear in mind, one's probably going to happen in 10 minutes. I'll keep it as far from the mic as I can. Um, anyway, what was I doing? Wood. Did I start that route? Did it ever make? I guess it didn't. I never made it. So Cape Trelawney, create a route. Hunt end. Load up wood. The Godspeed. Alright, and that is Cape to Old World. That is export. We are exporting wood out of the Cape. Alrighty, there we go. Is there any room for more of these? I still have two more I can build. And then we can just store a little bit more wood there. Alright, what a mess. But there you go. We're almost back up to 100,000. It's climbing again. So, yeah, I'm curious to see just statist statistics wise. Light bulbs, you know, is it okay? Barely, barely okay. If we turned off Crown Farms, what's it like then? It's short. Ha. Huh. So that could be why we're running out. Again, we've just got some mess of a route here. Let's the swords for. Although it's actually not that bad. It's just I don't know why there's three ships when there's a gap, you know? I don't know why I've made these choices. <laughs> But I'll leave that alone for a while. What's wrong with you guys, though? Some of the ship's cargo is not being traded. They're carrying penny farthings, and none of them can get rid of it. Great. So there must have been penny farthings on that route at one time, and that's why there's a gap, I guess. Okay. We saw before that penny farthings were, like, full up, right? Didn't I do something with penny farthings in the previous one as well? Didn't I, like, throw them overboard? Oh, yeah. Well, I managed to get rid of a lot of them, actually. So that's good. That keeps the buildings turning. That keeps the gramophones coming in. But that does burn through stuff like Cowchuck and... Yeah, now we're actually losing Cowchuck. Oh, my God. It's just problem after problem that I'm creating for myself. Cowchuck isn't in this list, no? Uh, as an intermediate is an agricultural product. There it is. So I think we bring it in through Docklands, don't we? To be fair, it's come in reliably, consistently all those times, so I think it's probably okay. We do have an empty Docklands slot here, which is perfect, though. Now that we don't need that wood. Uh, so the way the wood situation is working now is from that island in Cape Trelawney, wood comes in here, and then two separate routes take it to the Arctic, and one takes it to the New World. So that's how that works. 
So it seems to be fine, but it's obviously three ships doing that now. It used to be one. It's a bit of a mess. You're making your stuff. Lobster Chemini. Chemini. We said we'd get the citrus to catch up. So is there room for another citrus thing out here? Probably not. 90%. That's pretty good. <laughs> it's the best I got, I think. Where the hell was that 90%? It's hard to find now. Right there. And how many workers would that be? What can I do for you? It's 35. Wow. We're up to 32. It's not special here, but my nietos. There's really very little room on this island. Well, I was thinking you could do something, though. We could set up a hacienda. We have a hacienda, sorry. And we could use that to get tobacco, right? Tobacco would come in in a lot less space using a hacienda. Um, so there's always potential for that all the way over here. And that would condense all of this in pretty significantly, I would imagine. And if we added a fertilizer thing to it, we'd then also get 100% another double you know, productivity out of it. So there's some squeezing to do on this island, I think. Um, but yeah, let's just try Even though it's not full productivity, it's probably enough. And then I need to just go straight across or something like that. So yeah, we're like one or two short. That's an uneven number, which makes me think something's wrong, uh, population-wise. 99. 1,002 out of 1,050. Who doesn't have a... Oh, some of them... Hmm, that's... Sorry, I hit the microphone. That's strange. Some of them have 12 living in a house. There's no town hall here, though. So how's that possible? So population. Filter this way. There's 12. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, yeah. Hmm. They want schnapps and hot sauce. I'm not going to make it just for them. No, <laughs> no offense to them. Um... Might be able to just grab it and put it down another house somewhere. Might be close enough. We're just I'm just so out of space, like it's kinda unbelievable. How's it blocked? Oh, there's grass. You're going to need your Sunday clothes. Okay, and then we could get rid of some of this. <laughs> There we go. He's living it. Our access to a market has the church. There you go. You'll be fine. That'll give us the population we need. All right, we're over a hundred thousand. We're just keeping an eye on things like so. We this all stemmed from the light bulbs, right? I think that's where we came from with this. Um, so light bulbs. Light bulbs have been dropped off. We're making them in so light bulbs. So there should be an excess amount of light bulbs in the cape that we have to deliver here. Hi. Hey, we just caught our ship doing that for the first time. Nice. I guess to make this work, you need at least another ship on this. Cool. Alrighty. So here. Now, let's just see if I'm right. I'm guessing that light bulbs are full here, or they should be, but we'll see. Yes, pretty good. Alright, 2,700. So that means like we've obviously just been skimming a little off on the top and just storing a little bit of extra. Um, so we can hopefully grab that and kind of even things out. As long as we always have a, a minimum stock here, we're never going to take everything, so it should just work out. I think. Create a trade route. Another trade route. God, how many trade routes are we making these days? Let's go light bulbs. That's all I want from you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, sure. That's going to be Cape to Old World. That's going to be light bulb export. 
or sorry, export light bulb. Hold it and drop it off. Okay. It could do a thing where it waits to get 300, actually, if you wanted to reduce traffic, but I uh, don't want to build up traffic here. Uh, we have 17 seconds to go before that alarm goes off. Don't worry, I will not wake you up. <laughs> um, let's go to Tabarim, see if we can buy this back yet. Yes, we can. All right, let's set another one. All right, we're in the clear, at least, for being bought out. That was close, though. It just came up and said, at any time, he can buy your island. I was like, what? <laughs> Um, all right, making good progress. Finally, we're seeing we're seeing some results. It's a it's a terrible long trickle down effect, but it is happening. So I'm just gonna bring this all the way up again. This cat won't let me do it sometimes. There we go. It's so weird. It says four nine hundred, and then you have to like slam it. There we go, five thousand. So I'm just curious as to why would this ever fall down now? Nothing, if uh, only this number will only ever fall down, that will only ever fall down, and by proxy this will only ever fall down if they run out of something. But there should be plenty. Let's just go through this uh, just really quickly. I want to know. So bread will be the first thing. Bread's maxed. So bread is totally fine. Jam. Jam and shampoo will be the other two. So jam is maxed. And... I probably skipped past it there. Shampoo is not, but good. Although it's kind of slowly decreasing over time. Actually, that's kind of an interesting one. So basically, if it is ever falling, it means that maybe one of the restaurants isn't getting something, and that could be a reason for it. Um, so shampoo. Ooh, 7 to 7, but just slightly under. God damn. Well, let's see. Maybe we could turn on one an extra factory. We're out of quartz sand. Okay, keep that in mind. <laughs> um, tourists. Shampoo. Boom. There's two factories. One of them is off right now. It needs more cinnamon, coconut oil, and soap. Start the machines. I'll turn it on. I wonder if I wound that back to negative 50. That should still be more than enough. Yeah, way more than enough, really. I suppose actually what would make more sense is just turn is actually overclock it rather than underclock two of them, right? So you could have one like that. This one goes up to th God, so high. You could do this instead and be like, yes. Shouldn't really affect the engineers, and they should be okay with doing that. It's just coconut oil is running out. So it actually seems like this building isn't fully operational all the time. And that's probably why it's slowly, slowly, slowly trickling down. So soap is now... Slightly above, which is what we need it to be. It's just that I need to not run out of things. So coconut oil. Hmm. Alright. See if we can make any more room for that. Out on an island like this. The other place actually has room. Coconut oil is one, cinnamon is one, camphor wax is four. I should really specialize these islands so they just have one thing rather than they each have a bit of everything I feel like so I might do that next episode. Although I guess some islands need certain things anyway. So there's already one coconut oil here. Um, so out of room. It's like crazy. There's one there, there's one there. There's a gap, kind of a gap there, but not really. There's a bit of a gap here, but not really. There's one there, 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 and there. These things are crazy. Does anyone else feel like this? I know there are uh, trade unions that do buff this. Maybe it would be good to use it here now and do something similar to how I've done in, uh, in Lusk. I guess that's probably the option. So maybe I'll just slam it down here. There's 100% there at least. Um, but let's do that because we have the influence. I think we have to squeeze. So what do we have? This is citrus. Let's, I wonder which one's the most in demand. Citrus is 40, camphor wax is 37, coconut oil is 9, cinnamon 17. So the most is citrus. I think we'll do it to camphor wax though, just because I think I've already done it to citrus. The demand isn't even always on for that. 
But yeah, camphor wax is pretty heavy. So let's do that. How much camphor wax do we have on this island? There's 14 on this island. So yeah, it makes sense to get ourselves a trade union and lock this down. So let's see. I might even just copy the style I did over here because this was pretty good. That's basically the way I'd have to do it, right? So I might just copy and make a screenshot of that. Sorry about that. Tabbed me out. Um, could even use this, the 75% productivity thing. Because I don't think I need it here for resin. Resin, it seems like it's a bit overkill. <laughs> if I was to have a look at all islands and then go raw materials and then go resin, 29 to 25, I guess it's useful. If I took that out, what do we have now? 19. So it is useful. We do need it. Hmm. But there's room on this island for more. So yeah, I guess that's the alternative, right? So let me write these down. We need interspecies grafting. Inter... Grafting? We then need optimized pruning and get rich too. Okay. Got that written down. So we need those three. It's going to increase the workforce needed, actually. But we should be able to squeeze the crap out of the New World's orchards. And I think it's about time we did that. Um, so let's get a ship to come over here. I might have to get the airship to come back and get these things. This will be the last thing we do today. So airship, you can go home. And then I'm going to look for these items, see if we have any already, because some of them we obviously do. So not equipped, but in storage. And we're looking for interspecies grafting. So there's one there, item location in a large trading post right here. Perfect. So that one's already here. Great. So let's just pop that down then. So we know that we're going to have a trade unit. We'll move it in a sec. Interspecies grafting. Done. The next one, optimized pruning. There it is. Boom. Excellent. And then the next one, Get Rich Volume 2. Oh, actually, no. We're going to bring the 75% one here. So that might be better. Actually, you know what? I didn't even check which one we really want. If we're going to bring that here anyway. So which does what? That does productivity 5% and produces extra citrus. So that's great. This one increases the forest density. And this one then provides sugar. That's fine. Sugar would actually be interesting for the island of Marbella because we make sugar on that island, but we don't need it. So yeah, we can leave that one out, so that's fine. Yeah, that's great, that one can go. Perfect, so when the airship gets here, we'll be able to pick up the 75% productivity gold reward that we got for doing the tourist thing, I think, right? I guess that's what we got it for. It's hard to remember at this point. Um, either that or the Skyline Tower, I assume. Actually, I think it was the Skyline Tower. Um, but yeah, because of the gold reward, that item then can be used in the new world and we can really squeeze the crap out of these so i've got a i took a screenshot of that other thing so what do we have here we have camphor wax camphor wax camphor wax citrus and citrus so these are camphor wax as well aren't they yes so let's just move you over there let's move you over there i'll put the citrus in their place Good. All right, and then I'm just going to clear all the roads here and rebuild this area. Somewhere in the center, like kind of here, I guess. It needs room on the edges of each circle. And then broadly speaking, we have something like this, a line that goes straight across. There's a gap of one. It's a shame I can't copy and paste between regions. And then this just goes straight up for what looks like about, I don't know, six or seven, something like that. I guess I can't do complete copy and paste because the mountains are different. So we'll just figure this out. As long as it's within the circle, I guess that's the important thing, right? Yeah. Also, this needs a road out. So it's going to be different straight away. Sorry for the noise. Uh, yeah, so let's just quickly buy back another thing. 30 seconds to go. I'll come back here in a second. Did that ship arrive yet? Don't think so. Let's get rid of this road. 
There's some room out there, but it's fine as long as we're in the circle. Right there. And we're increasing the forest density as well, so it should be kind of interesting to see how much we can really get out of it. Because it's, it's still 100% there. Am I eating into that? Not yet, even. Interesting. One, two, three. Four. Your ship has returned from its voyage. Workforce shortage. I'll probably play around with this layout just a bit after the fact, actually, just to see if we can get a bit more out of it. And I'm sure you can, obviously. Big workforce shortage, but we can build more houses for this place. There'd be no problem at all. So that's one, two, three, four, five. In the other place, we have seven. Oh, six, sorry. Yeah. Watch. So you have to be there. These are all Cam 4 Wax, aren't they? Yep. So I don't know, something like that. I'll probably, like I said, refine it it's a shame with the the mountain laid out the way it is maybe this will have to be placed somewhere else which is a bit more clear space around it but it's tough you know the rivers make it difficult but maybe god it would be a hell of a job but you can move this factory here and there might be better room for it in future you know something like that right there and then all the way around that it could have it it might work better it's tough to say it's tough to say there's a lot of space here as well although there's mountains either side so again kind of boxed in um, as a temporary measure, let's just... Oh yeah, what is this? That's the extra coconut oil. I was going to say, as a temporary measure, we could just um, add more houses in. Get some extra workforce going. I'm sure we'll figure that out soon enough. Don't get me started on the conditions. <laughs> on the conditions. Just a bit short for the market, even. All right, let's try that. There should be plenty of food and everything, so I think that's fine. Um, for growth and everything. So just speed up time. They're going to grow. Now we're just getting all the camphor wax going. So what did we just increase it to, out of curiosity? Camphor wax is really even. We now have one over 38. That doesn't seem right. But also, we're about to get that 75% benefit. Um Oh yeah, and in the other one, I actually have the road, the warehouse, sorry, a bit further out, so maybe I can optimize the space even better that way. Uh, so the last thing we're going to do in this episode, I know it's running long, but um, pick up that gold medal, bring it to the new world. How's the population? Wow, it's dramatically fallen. Oh god, we're not done yet. What are you guys missing? Again, light bulbs. Don't understand that. And then this thing, really. This is really what has tumbled it down. Because once that falls below, again, they must be running out of something in one of these places. Maybe grapes. Grapes is kind of low. Um, that could take a really long time to figure out what we're missing. Because there's so many of these like little goods that come in from all these different places. There's thousands in all of those, at least. And I haven't, I don't notice them run out. It seems to be, whatever it is, it seems to be small. Maybe it is the grapes. Grapes seems like it's tight, uh, putting it mildly. So yeah, maybe that needs to be improved. Grapes we kind of make out here, and there's room for more. Twenty-three to twenty-six demand. Well, that doesn't seem right, does it? Really? Hmm. Okay, well, yeah, we could just pop down a few more of these. How much do they take? They only take five farmers, each one. I'm going to do it lazily, and then we can improve the look of the place later. But just for business reasons, let's get this working. Workforce 
Yeah. Now, how many? Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's plenty of room as well, even for um, the tractors and everything. These don't even all have tractors. I think it's because I ran out of space. Uh, the tractors aren't going to reach that far, though. How far would they reach? Jeez, actually, they're not that far off. Okay. Let's just do something like this, then. It's going to look ugly as all hell, but I'll probably move them. Alrighty. Dealing with you could be a lot of I'm just gonna be lazy actually. How much are these to put down? Just wood. Should be lazy. Let's get this built straight up. Ugh. What's your problem? Out of steel beams, that's alright. Okay. Uh, we can pick up some steel here, maybe. Just trying to get this last little bit here done at the end of the episode, I guess, but it keeps. It's just problem after problem. <laughs> Never ends. But yeah, then in like a time lapse or whatever, I can make this island look a bit not. Well, the island looks great. I actually really like it. This area is neat and everything. It's just that we need way more farms, so I'm just gonna spam them down, make this sort of an industrial farm. Because at the end of the day, we're out of grapes, so we have to figure this out. So that'll have to do. And then when we get the steel beams, we have the steam motors. We can just get all of that up and running. It's in range of the fuels depot, so they should be able to supply all of these. That should not be a problem. Um, so then, if we go all islands, turning off, um, well, really just all old world islands. Grapes now is at 27, but when we get the other tractors up and running, that's going to dramatically increase. That sh I would hope that stops the tourists from you know falling apart or whatever. Don't worry, there's a delivery here that actually makes steel beams, so it's okay. Alright, new world. The ship is just arriving, that's the last thing. We'll just speed up time, drop off our gold performance metal productivity 75% for all orchards and chemical plants. And we'll whack that in there. That's going to increase Cam4 wax output. Should be dramatically, I guess to 49 out of 38 so we we're on 39 so we got 10 extra tons per minute the demand isn't even that high right now it's kind of fluctuating i guess it looks like that's cinnamon done coconut oil done citrus done and now camphor wax set for a while as well um our ship has arrived sorry it's this one. Oh god what happened here <laughs> Get up early. oh the husky sleds oh, of course this place is so delicately balanced oh that's annoying um, I'll get that'll just be a different episode one that's easy to fix basically it's so delicately balanced that when you lose any certain amount of population it locks out even recognizing that they have husky sleds they actually have them but they can't use them so I'll just write down arctic huskies that's okay though that one's at least that one's totally easy it just requires building a few houses for a while and then deleting them oh um All right, there's your steel beams. Get your farms up and running. 50%. 28 to 26. That can't be right. Surely that's not right. Or maybe until they actually get their uh, thing. Until they actually get the fuel, I guess. I want to see little cars rolling out now. There they go. Dropping off all the fuel. Perfect. Love to see it. Nice. The numbers are being pumped up. 32 now. 
All right, there you go. Now, just to make sure it's not a supply chain problem, I'm guessing you don't have that much even stored here. No, you don't. Good. Let's increase the warehouse. Awesome. All right, that's going to be it for this episode. Another, you know, statistic screen deep episode, but at least we had some nice building in there. Uh, and things are getting better all the time. Just trying to always work out what the damn root cause of some of these issues are. But we can get over 100,000 just by whacking that up. That gives us 10% extra everywhere else. Everywhere else seems basically fine. Um, and the last thing I'll just turn this on to is bulbs. So it's on 70 right now. So it's 210. Yeah, okay, good. It's going up. It's going up. We're only carrying 50 each journey on this ship, and then this thing is going off to rush for a little while, so it's just, I don't know about that. So it might change that route as well. It looks like it's just one of those messy ones. There you go. That's going to be it. So things are getting a little bit better. It's just I have to keep this number below that number, otherwise the thing just falls down. And again, like I said, I just don't know why. Some restaurants are, I guess, low on something. <laughs> uh, that's the kind of thing I'm just trying to get to the bottom of. It's kind of a tough one. All right, for the 10th time, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching, and remember, if you want to support this series directly, you can click the Join button to become a channel member. Doing so will get your name in the credits, as well as loyalty badges and emotes to use in the comments. If you don't see the Join button, it means the video has been copyright claimed, but you can still join from the channel page on desktop. You can also link your account to our Discord to get a special role on there that will give you access to the Senate House and a few other perks.